Hello everybody, what's up? My name is Vishal from my web and in this video, I am going to make a video based on, based on a most requested thing from the Hamjadras and most, most other subscribers that is uh, uh, can you add more three, two or three thumbnails of the product images labels showing the new arrivals products and the remaining stocks so uh, obviously you are going to make all of them but today's topic is how to add more two or three thumbnails of the product images so let's go back to their project and just make it okay so as you can see here we have our text uh, sorry uh, adding product form now we are going to make uh, extra extra thing to like add to two or three or four or five add as based on your requirement you can add more thumbnails you can do that okay so i'm just going back to the my code editor and in my product product.php okay so i just uh, take another row after the after this row okay so there is the row and okay um yeah maybe it should be changed after this row so i'm just adding adding take another row or uh, row class and after that uh i add Okay, just take all MD12 for full type of label. I remove the for because we don't need that right now. I just type add more. Thumbnails. Okay. And after that, again, I'm going to take a call MD10 and take an input. With the form control class so it's a form control class so i take a form control class of the bootstrap and this i just i change it into the file okay and yeah i think that's cool and also I take a button so again i take another call class of the uh call md2 because we have only 12 grades so we just need to 10 and 2 okay and take a button which is the button class is dot btn sorry uh dot btn success okay and i will try to type the add okay just now just save this page and refresh the page now click on the add new product now you can see we have this button and input form okay uh i just take uh, i just add another class which is btn block and after that uh, I'm just going back to my main.js file okay and after this end of the line and take a selector I just make a selector so what is the class name I just add new class in the product button.php so when I click on that add button okay so i just add more thumbnail okay yeah that's cool so i just copy this also save this okay and just move back to the main .js. okay let's close this footer.php that that one okay now we only had this okay so just copy this when i click on that button it's run a function to add or or append some files okay so oh, what we need to do that i will just copy this whole thing okay just copy this and just take a variable html and take a single quote okay remember take the single quote and after that i just select multiple things okay and html plus for con uh, conflict them and yes and in the end sorry uh, yes okay now now it's looking cool mm, okay and yes uh not something nice 
okay i'll say it here in the line number 63 okay so uh all is going well now i'm just append this all of them into this select another uh, class or div so i take a uh, class from it here okay so I take a span dot class uh, that class name will be extra okay uh, yeah uh, extra thumbnail area you can take any name it, it's all depend on you so I just copy this ball line okay just, just copy this class and now I'm going to make a selector dot and then I append the all the HTML HTML variable into this class okay so I just save it now just now let's go back to check I just refresh this page and now click on the add button okay so uh, we need to define that button type also so I just define the button type okay button type equal to equals to button yeah no nah, because it's work like the submit button but it's not a submit button so oh, we put this as a button yes okay now click on the add product again i click on the add okay let's make it hard reload with the control plus F plus r okay now that's cool we can add more steps okay but we don't need the add button multiple times we need a uh, remove button so what we will do so I just go back to the main.js file and change the class first to make it a red. So I take the class of this bit in danger and I just remove this class name too and put this remove take and also take a, um, remove button. Okay and okay this I just save this and now just refresh. Now click on the add new product and click on and click on the add button. Now we can see uh, we have this remove button. But on a click and on the remove button, it's not working properly. Okay, so uh, we also need to uh, define again the type is button in the remo uh, remove button too. Okay, so I'm just going to take it uh, local variables variable variable name will be count equals to one okay count equals to one and let's take a id again id with which is also the row okay uh we can take anything and okay between this row i just take the conflict that again with the row so that with the count okay with the row row two okay and that's cool and also what we need uh okay i take the also the id so and the button so i put this id equals to so uh, yeah and i put this as a conflict with the count yeah mm, i just refresh this page and now again I'm click on that and now now i just gonna check this uh, id name of this button okay uh okay yeah, here we have this id one and when i uh, select this another one okay this is again the id one okay so okay i forgot to put that it should be count equals to count plus one okay and i just remove this with the i just replace with the zero now again i just check i just refresh this page and click on the add new and when i inspect the element this is this is id one and this is id two now it's different now and then i'm just make a, another selector for the remove button so here we, here we have this remove class as you can see so i just take this class and just make another selector so dot remove okay uh 
take it from the whole document okay let's make a select for the document again and dot on and when we click on this this is the another way to make uh, some function for in jquery so on the, on the whole page of document when you click on the remove class it should be uh, run a function okay and sorry not a return just make a variable again with the uh, row underscore data you can take any 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 variables uh, take the row data and that uh, dollar this i use the this uh, for taking the separate id of this uh, every single row so this dollar this dot attribute of the id okay so now let's check in the alert first so just put this row data now again let's save this page and refresh sorry uh let's refresh this whole page and now click on the add 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 most of the times so now click on the okay it's one it's two and it's three okay now that's cool now I move back and just remove this over, uh, selector so I just again make a selector of this ID now okay so this is our ID so uh, okay just copy this okay and yeah make a selector of that particular ID Mm, okay we don't need that we need this mm, okay yeah and also let's copy this and paste it over there okay yeah and dot remove okay now just let's check in the browser okay so i just ref uh okay refresh this page and click on add new product and click on the add now just remove okay it's not working why oh okay uh, i need to put as assign the id now i can save this page and refresh now click on this add and now click on the remove okay it's not working fine when i select the first one and there is another one and when i click on this this remove button okay let's uh, remove separately one that particular field okay it's not removing uh, from the bottom so now it's working fine so now um, by this thing by this code you, you can add mul multiple of multiple th uh, thumbnails into your product page on uh, for your product so i hope you can understand how to how to make html uh, dynamic html component for add multiples of the thumbnails using jquery so in the next video we are working on the store the product information data into our uh, database uh, using ajax and php so meet you soon in the next video and stay with me happy coding thank you so much